Alright, now I have got a lot of amazing questions from you about how to become a data scientist. Thank you for that. So I have picked now the top rated questions and I'm going to go through them one by one. So now let's get started. The most highest asked question is actually, do I need a specific degree like a master or PhD to become a data scientist? Well, if you want to become a data scientist in the industry, it is not really needed. It is plus if you have like a computer science degree. And I have met many data scientists that switch their career from something else to data science. But of course, if you want to become a researcher in big tech companies, you're gonna need some master and PhD. Okay, to the next question, how long it takes to become a job ready data scientist? Well, it really depends on how much time you are investing to become a data scientist, but I'm gonna say it's gonna take at least one year. And if you have already a job and you want to become a data scientist, then it's gonna take between one to two years. Now, the next question is all about, should I learn Python or R? Which one comes first? Well, of course, you have to learn Python first and Python is way more important than R because as you saw in the process to become a data scientist in each step we are doing something using python so make sure you are strong in python and then learn r but to the next question do i need sql as a data scientist well of course my friend as you know the company's data are in databases and if you don't speak the language you cannot talk to the data at all so it is a must it is not optional and now we come to the question that scares most of you how much math do I need? Well, I know that the word scientist is gonna think ah, I'm applying for NASA, right? Well, actually, it's not like that. You don't have to be a math genius to become a data scientist. So you have to learn enough math to understand the algorithms and what the models are doing. So learn the basics, the linear algebra, calculus, and the probabilities. So again, you are not writing formulas from the scratch at this job. All that you have to do is to understand it and to pick the right model. Okay, moving on to the next one. And this one is interesting has a lot of likes do i need to build my own models or is it enough to use libraries like the skykit learn well my friends you don't have to build your own models we are in 2025 and you don't have to reinvent the wheel you can really go very far by just using the pre-trained models but what is very important is to understand how those models work it's like cooking my friends you don't have to go and grow your own vegetables but you better know how to cook them okay to the next one how do I stand out from the crowd? What type of project should I build to get hired as a data scientist? Okay, so here's my advice. First step is to go and pick a business domain that you like. It's like a company that you would like to get hired. Is it about like e-commerce or healthcare? Or maybe car industry like me i'm working at mercedes-benz and i like everything about the cars and then you go and grab some fake data set about this business domain and start doing projects like the most interesting one now is to make like some kind of chatbot chat gpt about this domain and as well to make some recommendation systems and so on so with that you show them that you have very important two types of skills the first one is the tech so you can use tools and languages in order to do something and the other one you have domain knowledge and if you combine those two believe me it's gonna be really hard to say no for you and for sure you're gonna stand out the crowd okay to the next one what tools and tech stack are used in real companies small versus big well i'm gonna say does it matter you will be end up using sql and python but for small companies they're gonna have like few resources and you're gonna end up using for example jupyter hub together with pandas and skykit learn but for big companies you will get access to many tools and services that you could use in their projects. And for sure, since it's big company, you can have a big data and you're gonna be end up using PySpark instead of Pandas. And of course, you will not be building stuff locally at your notebook. Instead, you have to build things in the cloud platforms like Azure, AWS, and use tools like maybe Databricks. So with big companies comes a lot of tools and you have to use big data tools as well. Okay, moving on to the next one. What is the difference between data analyst, data engineer, and data scientist? And which one is the right for me? Well, my friends, I will never be able to know what is right for you. You have to understand each rule and then you decide in your own. But I'm still I'm gonna tell you something. If you would like to move the data from A to B, to do pipelining, to transform the data, to build a data model, then maybe data engineering is suitable for you. But on the other side, if you'd like to be close to the business, to understand the pain point there, to understand the business questions, and then start like searching in the data, trying to find answers, and go to the business users and show them the answers using nice visuals and charts like you are telling a story then my friends you might think about data analysts but from the other side if you say you know what 
I don't like those pixel perfect dashboards and reports. I would like to make some intelligent system to like speak about the future to predict things. So you would like really advanced stuff. Then of course, data scientist is going to be the one for you. But of course, if you are just searching for something new and you just want to secure a job to get a salary, I don't recommend you to go as a data scientist. You need to learn a lot of tools and a lot of things. Then you have the two options, data engineering and data analysts. Both of them requires only few skills in order to maybe secure a job and they are easier than to be a data scientist. Now we come to another question that scares people. Is AI going to replace data scientist or does it make us even more valuable? Well, there is very classic and typical answer for this question and as well correct. AI will not replace you, but someone using AI better than you they might replace you. And this is totally true. If you are a data scientist that only sits behind the screen and write codes and not communicating with the others, not trying to understand their pain points, not trying to understand the business, the data, of course, it is easier to replace you because you are only coding and AI can do that. But if you are someone that is communicative, you are someone that is always near to the business, trying to understand the problems, always bringing solutions, and you understand the data and the processes, you always follow the trends and you understand which technologies are available and you try to map between the technology and the business problems. All those stuff is not replaceable by AI and you will be very valuable as a data scientist. So my friends, don't hide behind the screens. Always try to understand the others, to understand the trends and always bring those solutions to the company and you will be a perfect data scientist. So those are the questions. If you have other questions, post it in the comments below and let's talk about it. And if you are enjoying the content and the channel, support the channel by subscribing, liking, commenting. This really helps with the algorithm and as well to reach nice people like you. But if you are already supporting, thank you so much for that. Now that's it. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.